What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody, welcome back to MCNV Hip Hop Explosion. I am your boy, your host, uh -huh. uh -huh. MCNV. Uh -huh. yeah. Want to say welcome back to you know, all you new subscribers. Check What's it out. up? I hope I can make this one of the channels that you regularly tune into. I hope you subscribe, stay subscribed, and enjoy MC Envy as I bring you hip hop, my hip hop, original hip hop, old school uh -huh. hip hop, uh -huh. Uh -huh. fantastic beats, the best kung fu scenes on the planet, documentaries, and this episode is comics plus amazing. We will be getting into the Silver Surfer. I do it a little bit different. I bring you uh, my narration. I do the voices. I provide the music, the beats. I also have Superman versus Aliens and Superman versus Doomsday. These will be coming down the pipe as well. But right now, today, I want to bring you my boy, Silver Surfer. Once again, this is your boy, MC Envy, here at Hip Hop Explosion. And this is kind of like a uh, pat on the back. Uh, yeah, what's up? I got over those 1,000 subscribers. Uh, the channel's doing okay, you know, but that's thanks to you for sticking around, subscribing, and rocking with your boy, MC Envy. If you've been a member of the channel for a while, you know I just bang out my hits. Just lyrical hits. I'm not really with this new phase of hip-hop, you know, to each their own, but me, I keep it. Old school dynamic. You want to hear lyrics? I'm your boy. You want to hear fat beats? I'm your boy. But again, this channel is all about comics plus amazing, hip hop, kung fu, and I am the executive producer of the comedy show Laugh Your Ass Off. But we can get into that at a later time, or you can just check out the channel, see for yourself. You know, season two, episode five, I'm working on right now. But for your pleasure, right now, all my Marvel fans, DC fans, animation fans, get ready for MC Envy Presents The Silver Surfer. But wait, I want to say thanks and shout outs to Homemade. You know, he's got a little skit where he does his artistic drawings. That's my brother. My nephew, Javon. What's up, yo? To all his boys that got on the channel and subscribed. What's up? I feel you. Appreciate it. Want to give a shout out to Corn, Jeff, Keith, my boy Ryan, Kiva, all the girls in the crew. Linda, everybody, the fam, everybody, I do this for you. So check me out, your boy MCMV. I've been doing this lyrical fascination hip-hop for almost 20 plus years. So your boy knows what he's talking about. But let me, not let me hold you back. Let's get into The Silver Surfer, presented by your boy MCMV. Shoutouts. One. Enjoy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on everything fantastic. What do you know of meaningless? Thank you. 
What do you know of meaningless? The universe matters more than your meaningless squabble? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? of your life ruled by another, watch your race dwindle to a handful, and then tell me what has more meaning than your own strength. Better tell the laws, 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 when I'm thinking that you see you at the show, you know, comic books and rap, rap from Hong Kong and Sam, the scene of Mad Prop, the Prince Vegeta, and seeing you at the end, you're just a cheater, and the beat you get, you drop, drop, they hit you, and it's not as hard as this, all in this, is it down the spot, spot, what you get in here is a Kamikaze shakes, shakes, music, music, damn, shake, a bay, 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 The Omega Quadrant, a sector of space uncharted and unsullied by the pervasion of sentient life forms. Say one. The Silver Surfer, and if I should die. What madness is this? One moment, the celestial seas part accordingly before their one true masters. And the next, I am bombarded by those self-same cosmic forces. The eye of the storm draws nearer and within it, perhaps the source of this upheaval. The distant starscape is suddenly blanketed by an imposing figure. The Living Tribunal! Have you lost your head? At the speed with which my board was traveling, I could have... Speed is a function of distance and time, Silver Surfer, and therefore have no relevance here. For time itself has come to a complete standstill. Why do you utter such nonsense, Tribunal? If time had been arrested, I would certainly not be holding audience with you. I am he who safeguards the multiverse from mystical imbalance, Silver Surfer. I transcend the realm of space and time. All the opposing realities, I am the living trinity. Yes, you have told me all of this before. But if chaos has ensued, from the discontinued time stream? Then why do you address me through your veiled face of necessity? The end of all time necessitates a universe of complete order tipping the cosmic balance. But if you are not responsible for the phenomenon, then who is? You recall that each of these beings was assigned to safeguard one of the omnipotent infinity gems. They failed. An extra omensial 
energy parasite stole the time gem and suspended its temporal properties, eliminating any possible resistance and appropriating the remaining gems. from defying my decree that the gems never be used as one. Who gave you the right to appoint me as your cosmic policeman? I grow weary of playing the pawn in the grandiose schemes of abstract entities such as yourself. I did not betray one galactic master to become the lacquer of another. I know it is in your power to stop this creature, so I suggest you do so yourself. For this self to act, all three faces must agree. Know you this, to maintain the universal balance, an agent of oblivion also seeks the gems. The choice is yours, Silver Surfer, but the judgment as always, is mine. A choice? I should leave the gems in the hands of that demon? He will bring the cursed things back to his own world. But if I allow that, the agent of oblivion may get his hands on them. A choice. Tribunal. Hard one. I will seek clues to the gems' whereabouts on the planet from which they were pilfered. No matter how often I seek to escape the world of my former confinement, it is as though the shackles reach across the cosmos to draw me back. Back to the pleasing, yet offbeat sphere its inhabitants call Earth. The city of New York. How bizarre it is to witness the busy inhabitants of this once bustling metropolis frozen in the midst of their routine lives like statues. Truly, this is the day the earth stood still. So peaceful and calm, a brief moment in time captured for all eternity. It is little wonder the tribunal's veiled face indicated that the forces of order would hail this as their golden age. But I have dallied here long enough. Time has no barrier on the rest of the universe. Oblivion's agent, like myself, stands outside the time stream, and our destiny awaits us. Eh, Monster Island. The natural serenity of this place now borders on monotony due to the coronal disruption. And there, members of the ill-fated Infinity Watch, whose gems were simply plucked from them while they were frozen in stasis. Wait, that foul-looking entity, is he the gem thief? Or is he frozen in time with them? Would that... I were free to intervene, but I must ascertain the fate of my friend, Adam Warlock. Eh? I resent being called a foul-looking entity. Though I have been called many things, you can call me Death Urge. Such numbing cold. Something greater than mere physical force struck me down. My energy sap your will and feed your self-doubt. But still, you seek to stand. Good. I was told your tenacity would be strong, Fallen One. And given the chance, you could possibly hinder my progress and our mutual quest. My master would be quite upset if I allowed that to happen. So, I am grounding you, Silver Surfer. 
Now, where did I put those things? Oh, yes. Here they are. Farewell, fallen one. Though we are both creatures born to roam, only my path has one true destination. The demon is truly mad. If he takes a simple spear, will divorce me from my cosmic. Though black energy penetrates the core of his being like an ice-cold needle, the sentinel of the spaceways does not yield. His will unbroken, he struggles valiantly with the demonic weapon until finally free. If Galactus himself could not keep me tethered to this foreign planet, did Death Urge truly believe he would fare any better with this puny stick? It turns to ashes in my grasp. That is nothing compared to what will become of Death Urge when I get my hands on him. The cosmic winds carry the spore of the Infinity Gems. It is now only a matter of tracking down their abductor. The reek of death surrounding my prey is overwhelming. By all the rights, he should welcome my presence. And now that nothing remains to impede my quest, the perpetrator will soon discover Hey! Something tells me that the streak of lightning in my otherwise timeless void can only spell one thing. Silver Surfer! I am pleased that you have not yet forgotten me, Death Urge. Well struck, Fallen One. Your attack has disrupted the dark force which comprises my corporal structure. A force given form by the despair and guilt suffered by every living, breathing creature in the universe, of which currently you are the sole representative. The fact that I was able to pull myself together indicates my assessment of our cosmic relationship may have been a bit premature. Perhaps you are not the life-affirming counterpart I was led to believe you were. You'll have to move faster than that to prove such an absurd theory, which may prove difficult against one who moves faster than light itself. I grow weary of this game, Agent of Oblivion. It ends now. As I thought, your much vaunted cosmic power has no effect on me. A testament to your own latent suicidal tendencies. Do you know why my face has no features, Fallen One? because it is nothing more than a mirror into one's own soul. Gaze into my face, Silver Surfer. Gaze and recall the circumstances behind your tortured soul. Do you remember, Falling One? The terror in the eyes on those you judged unworthy of life? How they uttered oaths and condemnations at the very sight of your drifting figure, as cold and impassive inside as it was outside. Eliminate any potential threat to your world-consuming master. Until duty called you to ruthlessly exterminate all who drove them to self-preservation and simplifying 
his task of draining the planets of their life energies as you turn a deaf ear to the masses at your feet begging and pleading for a chance to be spared. And now you want to die because you feel guilty? Guilty that you still live while so many others because of you have died. But, but Galactus, he had suppressed my will, my, my very soul. I had no control. Do you truly believe that? You can't stand yourself due to what you did. Just relax, and I will. I... <laughs> Do not fight it, fallen one. Let the cold hand of oblivion embrace you. When you feel the darkness take hold of your soul, the pain of existence will play you no more. And why should I fight him? Asked the surfer. What do I have to live for? Nova is dead. Mantis is dead. Shalabar in the arms of my own brother. You are the only hope for reality as we know it. Would you relinquish your own chances to atone for your sins? No. But I can no longer deny the self-destructive urges which torture me. In order to become whole, I must confront them head on. And short. Death. Gone. No. Part of him will remain with me forever. It is only fitting that we find the Infinity Gems together. In the distance, a figure creating a rift in the very fabric of space. And upon his fists, can it be? Yes, at long last, I have found the thief of the Infinity Gems. I am your master. He seems to be struggling with the soul gem embedded in his brow. I must be now before he escapes into the breach and seals it behind him. Now, you do not realize the force with which you contend. This is but the merest fraction of my newfound powers. Leave this portal at once, or face my full wrath. You have stolen that which belongs neither to you nor your universe. Surrender, creature, or face the unbridled fury of the power cosmos. The gems lost in the vortex. My power gone. Gone! I must retrieve the infinity gems before the portal closes. No! All the trials I endured to reach this point, yet I still failed to keep the infinity gems from falling into this new universe. That was not your mission, Silver Surfer. You agreed to keep the gems from being used in concert, a task which you accomplished most admirably. But I lost all six gems to another reality without undoing the effects of the time gem in this one. How could I not have failed? Upon stripping the vampire 
of the time, Jim, before he escaped, you terminated its effect. As for the other five, worry not. It is unlikely that the creature will scowl the corners of the universe and find them all. But what if that should happen? Such an event would signal the demise of his universe, and perhaps our own as well. <laughs>